Hey everybody, Spade Dog Billy here doing song number 313 and 313 days in a row. Doing one song a day, publishing it on my Spade Dog Billy YouTube channel. We're going to keep doing this until the COVID-19 pandemic is brought under control. We can go out and play some regular gigs again with the whole band, drums and guitars and more keyboards. Please check out our website, spaydog.org, where I got my nickname, Stray Dog Billy, which I'll explain in a minute after today's song which is, uh, <laughs> I forgot it again. Uh, uh, oh yeah, <laughs> golden rule for stray dogs, here we go. Check out our website, StrayDog.org, where I got my nickname, Stray Dog Billy, after co-founding a no-kill dog shelter back in 1994. It became a Texas nonprofit corporation in 1997, uh, and uh, uh, with an official name, Stray Dog Incorporated, which we still have, of course. And in 98, we received from the IRS 501c3 tax-exempt status. Uh, which means all donations and contributions to the shelter are tax deductible, very important. Now let's talk about, uh, and we're still going strong today, still rescuing, uh, uh, rehabilitating and adopting out uh, stray dogs and other homeless dogs to good homes. And any dog who doesn't get adopted has a home with us at, at Stray Dog, which is, is what a no-kill dog shelter and sanctuary is. Adoptions, let's talk about adoptions across the entire country. Every year, adoptions are doing a little bit better, a little bit better every year. Uh, and we're, uh, 
We, are, we adopted out in 2019, we have the full figures, 3.2 million dogs and cats were adopted out from all shelters and all pounds across the United States of America. And that's a great thing. 3.2 million got to live. That's 8,700 plus dogs and cats every single day average. Every day we're adopted out. So that's a great thing. Now, unfortunately, we as a society are still using euthanasia as the uh, uh, a way to uh, uh, a control population of dogs and cats. This is not good. Euthanasia is really is supposed to be for uh, terminally ill dogs and cats who are suffering and terminally uh, fatally injured dogs and cats who are suffering. That's what euthanasia is, is for. Not for population control, but we've had to use it for that because we had too many. Now, uh, as a matter of fact, today, according to Best Friends Animal Society at bestfriends.org, which is a great uh, shelter and sanctuary and a website, uh, check that out, they, their figure is that we're still euthanizing 1,700 dogs and cats every single day across this country. That's yesterday, 1,700, today, 1,700, and tomorrow, 1,700. Every day, we're still euthanizing that many. So what's the answer? In addition to more and more and more adoptions, which everybody's working on, conception control. We gotta stop conception. Mama dogs and mama cats will continue to produce uh, with the help of papa dogs and papa cats, litter after litter after litter of puppies and kittens and puppies and kittens, many, many of whom will not be adopted out and will unfortunately lose their lives at an early age uh, due to euthanasia because we don't have room for them. So conception control, how do we gain conception control? Spay and neuter and talk everybody else into spaying and neutering. And that is the solution. We'll be back again tomorrow with another song from the Stray Dog Billy One Man Band. Good night, everybody.